All right, so section 5.3, strategy of resistance, hermeneutic time. In order to resist, it's necessary to mature. The affirmation of one's own values require time, study, reflection, and return to the texts or symbols and constitutive myths of one's own culture before or at least at the same time that one consults the domain of the text of the modern hegemonic culture. Al-Yabri shows the error of some Arab intellectuals whose relations with the European cultural legacy seems to be more narrow than those that they maintain with the Arab Islamic legacy, who pose the problem of contemporary Arab thought in these terms. How can this thought assimilate the experience of liberal, liberalism before or without the Arab world going through the stage of liberalism? Uh, and, and here, this is an interesting thought to compare to the Communist Manifesto. Remember that part of the problem of uh, critical utopian socialism was, okay, they did good analysis of the emerging bourgeois culture, but um, they were, according to Marx and Engels, led astray because the proletariat had not fully developed. Um, bourgeois liberalism hadn't fully set in, and so there couldn't be a socialism, a proper socialism, until the historical conditions were in place. And thinking of the Arab world, if the Arab world is not a liberal bourgeois culture, uh, how, do, how does the philosophy of modernism, liberal bourgeois philosophy, uh, apply? You know, if the historical conditions are so different, the philosophy can't make sense of it. Abdullah Larui, Zaki Naid Muhammad, uh, Mayid Fadri, <laughs> posed the question. Of in this fashion. The real problem, however, is different. How can Arab thought recuperate and assimilate the rationalist experience of its own cultural legacy and bring it to life again with a perspective similar to that of our ancestors, to struggle against feudalism, against Gnosticism, against fatalism, and to install the city of reason and justice, a free Arab city, democratic and socialist? So this is al Yarab uh, saying that there's this better approach. Uh, try to reach democracy and socialism through a return to Arab culture itself, not try to transplant liberal bourgeois modernity into the real existing conditions of the Arab world. As one can observe, a project of this scope requires tenacity, time, intelligence, research, and solidarity. It requires the long-term maturation of a new response in cultural resistance, not only to the elites of other cultures, particularly those that are dominant, but also against the Eurocentrism of elites in peripheral colonial and fundamentalist cultures. All right, the oligarchy within these countries is uh, very problematic. Ragoberto Minchu shows for her part how the, and this is again in Guatemala, for her part uh, shows how the community upon gaining critical consciousness reinterpreted traditional Christianity in order to justify the community's struggle of against the domination of the militarized white elites in Guatemala. This river represents a new hermeneutics of the constitutive text of the cultural life of the community, since the symbolic level is fundamental for Amer Indians, which integrates Mayan with Christian slash colonial sources. Okay, so Minchu is uh, Mayan, but also rooted in Roman Catholicism, but this is some kind of deep historical cultural root that, you know, uh, she can draw upon in order to 
uh, help the indigenous Mayan community against the uh, uh, Euro Europeanized, um, uh, he says white here, you know, because often those with European ancestry think of themselves as white and as superior to indigenous people. Um, uh, and, and notice that he's comparing Amerindian mythical traditions that aren't even necessarily written, but passed on oral tradition and, and things like that. Um, he's comparing them to the deep philosophical heritage of Arabic philosophy. Okay. 